I'm starting to see spaceships on banking. What's up? It's your boy, Sawzat. It's a nice sunny day, so I'm just riding out. Joy riding, no I'm saying. One of the questions people ask me about the most is about shape shifting. They always want to know, how do reptilians shape shift? How is it that reptilians can shape shift? I know it may seem like a big deal because humans can't do it. Or should I say, most humans can't do it, or don't know how to do it, but to us reptilians, it's really not that big of a deal. You know, just like a chameleon can change its colors to blend in with its environment, just like lizards can regrow tails and limbs, reptilians can just shape shift naturally. Simple. See, we reptilians are higher dimensional beings, so we don't get caught up in physical appearance like you humans. We are able to look past the physical, so even if one of us wants to shape shift, fine, it's no big deal. We can still see the true person within because we know how to look past the physical. The only beings that get caught up and thrown off by shape shifting is lower dimensional beings like you humans, who don't know how to look past the physical. I'll give you a little help though. When you see a person, test that person. You can know who's who by their actions and their works. But y'all humans are so fascinated about shape shifting. You even created a comic book character of a blue reptilian named Mystique in the X-Men comic books whose power was the ability to shape shift. But since y'all keep on asking me about shape shifting, I'm going to do it one time so you can see, and then you can stop asking me about it. Shit. Alright, hold on. Here we go. I just eat them for supper, get in my spaceship and hover, and hover. Bone, hover. Bone, hover. Bone, hover. 